Hey Fassy, so today me and the family are going to be doing the three doom challenge at our beach to get some family cardio in. Hey Fasties, me and the family decided to do this three doom challenge. No, I was worried about Yara. It's me. I'm the problem. Go, Yara. Yara, come on. Y'all, it was at this moment I realized we both were struggling, but she was doing far better than me. Y'all hear me breathing. I did make one major hiccup while taking this family walk on the dunes challenge, like not wearing insect repellent. We had all freshly bathed and had smell goods on, lotion, and the insects were just gravitating to it. And then because we were sweating, it just intensified that. It was rough. But it was also rewarding, and I'm very grateful that we were able to take this on as a family and accomplish something together. We did it! Yay! Literal crickets. Y'all, they was so mad at me. <laughs> they was all tired and hungry. They like, promise me ice cream. Wait, no. As we make our way back to our car, we get to come down this dome and look at the beautiful view of the water and this clear sand. It was really a fun experience to be able to do this with my family and to move my body. And I'm very grateful to share that with you. I'll show you ways that I stay active and keep myself moving with a family of six four children at home, a stay-at-home mom. I just try to choose our family days or our outings to be active activities like skating or doing a doom challenge. Just keeping ourselves moving, doing family walks. I'm trying to shift the direction of what we do when we have fun together. Rather than going to sit around a table and eat out at a restaurant every single time we do something outside of the house together, why not move our body together, challenge ourselves together, sweat together? It has really been helpful and I'm dedicated to continuing this on. It was really fun doing this Doom Challenge. I was struggling, so it just showed me that I need to get my cardio cardiovascular strength up and that 30 days of walking did not help me. But very grateful to have done it and to have accomplished it with all other members of my family like that's going to be something that we can always look back on like we did that together and it's helping everybody pull in the same direction of health and where we're trying to go very grateful for that i know that i had told y'all like in a past video that i was going to show y'all the updated rooms that i did for my kids we did room shuffling and gave my oldest girl her own room and i never showed y'all i like completely forgot about it it was like super exciting and then now it's just our everyday life. So I was like, oh, let me show y'all. The uh, clips that I do have, it's not completely finished, but it's close enough for y'all to get the gist. Um, my son and my daughter both have a name sign that's missing, and my son was missing his rug. But other than that, here are their rooms. Enjoy. What I was doing, Deanna. Creating Eden's room. We painted that wall, she got a new bed, had a little purple nightstands. This is the curtains that still go up, but Eden has graduated from sharing a room with the other two girls. And look at her wall. Elisha's room, still somewhat in the making, but he has the old school room wall. He got a little basketball behind his, well, on his door. And then he got this for Christmas, basketball, 
with his name on it. And all we did was take his bunk bed down in his room and uh, he got his old dresser. And I got a name thing for him too coming. So it's gonna go there. Got his little picture up. And then this is where our school room books was. And he just put his little shoes there. Got his puzzle. I'm gonna get that framed and probably put it right there. Got a book. This little stuff. I'm worried about this. This is the modem and the internet for the whole house. <laughs> but this is where I gotta go because it was in the school room. And then he got this Steph Curry poster that light up in the dark. That's about it. My mama ordered him a rug, so that's gonna go here. And then she got him a basketball stand. So he got like some basketballs for Christmas that'll go on the stand right there. But other than that, his room is complete. Okay, hey, y'all, so I've been like busy, keeping myself busy during my fast with a home project and home improvements. I painted this whole room and then decorated it. Went to the look and find a bargain for this dresser for my girls to share. This is one side, that's another. I still gotta put they two nightstands together. And that's really the complete finished project at a room. Let me get corners here. We put the kitchen set in the closet and that's like their little play area. I don't hang up a lot of clothes, but like nice dresses, Easter dresses, stuff like that. Majority of their clothes can fit here because I'm going for a minimal, minimalistic life. 